I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction because each incoming pass, and I suppose the outgoing pass too, can exponentially change the development of your hand, hence the chain reaction. It's a great way to test your instincts. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be the dealer for this exercise, so we're going to get 14 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a red dragon, two foreign cracks with a pair of twos, or sorry, that's a four, pair four. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine in bams with a pair of fours. Then we have an eight, nine in dots. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? If these were my tiles, I would focus on multiples, the four band and the four crack. We could do two, four, six, eight, or two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, or two, four, six, eight. So I think what I would do, since consecutive run is so flexible, I think I would focus on consecutive run. We've got to have tiles to pass. Two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. Maybe keep the four, because look at all these discards. Okay, I forgot. We need to take a photo. Always remember to take a photo, because we need to recreate this. All right. We'll keep the four. Crack, and then pass those. We're going to focus on consecutive run first and just see what comes in. Really, this two could work if we get a three, two, three, four. And we do have tiles we can pass right there. All right, let's focus on consecutive run first for plan A and then two, four, six, eight for plan B. Now we need to take a photo of each incoming pass. Because we gotta recreate it. Here's a five, we're gonna keep it. Here's a dragon. Here's a two, two, four. We're playing consecutive run though. We're focused on consecutive run. Without a flower, I don't think that dragon is gonna be helpful. So let's let it go. Now we'll take a photo. Here's a three, two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six. We have two discards. We have to let something go. This, there's a gap here, no three. Here, there's no gap. Here, three, five. Let's see, three, five. Three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, two, four, three, four, no, three, four, four, three. Let's let the five go. We'll take a photo. It's getting a little bit kooky. These tiles, look at this five dot. Okay, five crack. All right, we have all two through six. <laughs> so let's reassess. Two, three, five, two, four, five, two, three, four, five. Here's four, five, four, five. Or 
two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six. Those options would use the multiples. So let's, oh, except for the two crack. We're gonna break up the two crack. There's no three, so it's not helpful. Okay, now let's take a photo. And we can, let's see, I think what I would do here is keep the seven and let the two go so that we have a, a some tiles to pass for the next one in case we get keepers. It's good to think a pass ahead if you can. All right, let's take a photo. So we have a six, two through six in there. I try not to pass white dragons. Here's the seven. So now we have four, three, four, five, six, or four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. Four, five, six, seven. I think I'd rather do three, four, five, six, or four, five, four, five. There's the hand with no gaps. All right, let's take a photo. Ones and uh, one and two nines. We don't need any of that, but I would not. I would not pass two nines. Four, five, two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six, or four, five, four, five. I think I'd let the two man go. Okay, we got nines and a seven. Seven, nine crack pair. All right, so I would probably not pick a hand, but we do have four, five, four, five, joker bait, and six discards. That was really not a good result. Way too many discards. So let's compare and see if two, four, six, eight was better. And my guess is that it's going to be better than this because this is rough. Even though we have a hand with no gaps, we have a lot of discards. I probably would not even pick a hand and just keep gathering and go with the flow. All right, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna use all those photos and we're gonna recreate this whole thing. All right. Here's what we started with. And we're gonna try for two, four, six, eight this time. So we'll just keep all the evens, keep every tile for the category. I suppose we could even keep the red because there's that dragon hand, two, eight, dragon. So let's pass these three, a little bit risky. All odds. We got a two and a dragon. Five, nine can go. Two, four, six, eight. Two, eight, dragon. We really, the only way we can use the green dragon is if we get a flower. In either of these cases, we didn't use the eight dot. So let's let that go. Eight crack, three nine, dragon, two four eight, two four six eight. Either way, either dragon can go two four six eight, 
Let's just let the green dragon go since it's opposite. We got a two dot and two fives. Probably what I would do is let the dragon go and not pass like numbers. Dragon, five east, seven, two, four, eight, two, four, six, eight. White dragon, six, nine, two, eight. Probably I would let the dragon go. Just focus on the number tiles. Oh wait, we have a keeper there. Two, four, six, eight. There is some potential for the pear hand if we can get a flower. I would not pass two dragons. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Let's see. Four bam, four crack. I'm kind of thinking we should pass fully and Play either two, four, six, eight in one suit, two, four, six, eight in two suits, or maybe play the pair hand where we would not need pairs of fours. So let's pass fully. See if we can get a keeper. No. And I would not pass two nines. I would pass one blind. Three discards, three disc, four discards, really, because we can't use that white dragon. So I would say I would just not pick a hand and just gather evens. But this was a much better result. Two, four, six, eight, two, three ways, no gaps. We could play two, four, six, eight in one suit, two, four, six, eight in two suits. If we get a flower, we could maybe play that pair hand. So four discards and a few hands with no gaps, other than the pair hand where we need flowers. This even hand was a better choice. Even though we let a four bam go. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comments section below. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. When you look at a dealt hand, you could see the potential for one category, let's say, and somebody could see the same tiles and play something completely different. That is one of the beauties of American Mahjong. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.